Philosophical Problems of Space and Time 1963, second edition 1973, is a book about the philosophy of space and time by the philosopher Adolf Grunbaum. It is recognized as a major work in the philosophy of the natural sciences. Topic. Summary Grunbaum discusses the philosophy of space and time, and scientific and mathematical fields such as geometry, chronometry, and geochronometry. He also provides an account of the Philosophia e Naturalis Principia Mathematica 1687 of the physicist Isaac Newton, as well as the work of other physicists such as Albert Einstein, and that of the mathematician Bernhard Riemann. He criticizes the philosophers Ernest Nagel and Jacques Maritain, arguing that in The Structure of Science 1961, Nagel misinterprets the philosopher of science Henri Poincaré and that in The Degrees of Knowledge 1932, Maritain misinterprets the nature of geometry. Topic. Publication history Philosophical Problems of Space and Time was first published by Alfred A. Knopf in the United States in 1963. In 1964, the book was published by Routledge and Keegan Paul in the United Kingdom. In 1969, a revised version was published in Russian translation in the Soviet Union by Progress Publishers. In 1973, an enlarged section was published in English by D. Rydell Publishing Company. Topic. Reception Robert S. Cohen and the philosopher Marx W. Wartowski stated in the second edition of Philosophical Problems of Space and Time that the book was "...promptly recognized to be one of the few major works in the philosophy of the natural sciences of this generation." Upon its original publication, they believed that this was partly because Grunbaum showed devotion to both actual science and philosophical understanding, and combined detail with scope. They credited him with dealing with the problems of space and time in their full depth and complexity. The philosopher Milik Kapik wrote in the anthology The Voices of Time 1981, that Grunbaum was, alongside the physicist Olivier Costa de Beauregard, one of the most vigorous defenders of the view that time should be treated as equivalent to space. The philosopher Roger Scruton described philosophical problems of space and time as the most comprehensive discussion of non-Euclidean space in modern philosophy, an introduction and survey, 1994, though he added that the work was far from inviting. The philosopher Philip L. Quinn called Grunbaum's thesis about physical geometry and chronometry striking. In the Oxford Companion to Philosophy, 2005. 